In Thermoflex, you spend much of your time working with icons. This video will describe basic icon anatomy using a gas turbine, a general pump, and a pipe as examples. First, let's place these icons on the screen. The gas turbine is found in the gas air menu of the icon selector, while the pump and pipe are both found in the general menu. Once they've been placed on the flow sheet, click on the full button to zoom in and center our screen around these components. Let's take a closer look at the gas turbine icon. If you hover your cursor over this icon, you will see a tooltip appear containing its name and its icon index. This index is unique among all icons in the current model and is assigned automatically when the icon is placed on the screen. You can see several triangular features distributed around the gas turbine's edges. These are nodes, and they are the connections between the icon and the rest of the model. If you move your cursor over a node, you will see the node's name displayed below the standard icon information. The node's name will usually allow you to determine its purpose. For example, this node is the air inlet node. A connection made here will define the properties of the gas turbine's inlet air. If you cannot determine what a given node is for, or just want more information, press F1 to open the Thermoflex Help to the Components section. A node's appearance provides useful information about the node and the connections that can be made to it. An inwards pointing node is an inlet node meaning that it is for a stream that is entering the component. An outwards pointing node, on the other hand, is an outlet node, denoting a stream leaving the icon. Solid colored nodes are mandatory. These nodes must be connected before you can proceed to edit inputs mode. Hollow nodes are optional. You may connect them if you wish to make use of a given feature of the component, but it is not required. Every node has at least one connection point, while some nodes may have several. Simple triangles denote nodes with a single connection point. The thinner boomerang shapes denote multiple connection points for the same node. These connection points are purely graphical. It makes no difference to the model whether you connect to one or the other. They exist only to allow you to make neater, cleaner drawings. Finally, a node's color informs us of its compatible fluid type. Thermoflex supports seven kinds of fluids. Gas air, water steam, fuel, refrigerant, ammonia water, brine, and heat transfer fluid. If a node can only accept a single fluid type, its color will match that of its compatible fluid. A node that can handle any of these fluid types will be colored black while a node that can handle more than one, but not all, fluids will be colored gray. If you move your cursor over a gray node, you will see that the tooltip displays a list of the fluid types accepted by this node beneath the node name. The list of fluids that a node can accept may change as you build your model. For example, the pipe's inlet node can accept any fluid type, while the pump's outlet node can accept any fluid but gas, air. If we connect the outlet of the pump to the inlet of the pipe, we'll see that the pipe's outlet node turns from black to gray. This is because the fluid type restriction propagates through the model when you connect components, preventing you from inadvertently creating incompatible connections. If we hover over the pipe's outlet node, we'll see that it can now only accept fluids that the pump can also accept. If we connect the outlet of the pipe to the gas turbine's water steam injection node, we'll see that all nodes in this circuit turn blue, since this is now the only common fluid type among the connected nodes. Thank you for watching our video on the anatomy of Thermoflex icons. 
please don't hesitate to contact us by phone or by email if you have any questions.